Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how to create a terrain of mountains uh, from displacement maps and how to convert this displacement map to actual geo so you can see it in Maya and you can animate uh, like Lord of the Rings uh, sh type shot like what you can see right now so uh, let's get started okay so first let's go create a plane polyplane let's press R and start scaling Let's scale it, make sure we have a really uh, big terrain. Okay, let's make it 4000. Okay, cool. So, we don't need to adjust the poly subdivisions, we can keep it as it is. Okay, so now let's uh, create the displacement map. Let's go right click and assign new material. And let's just create a blend for now. And uh, let's uh, remove the reflectivity. I'll just reduce this setting so it's not like reflective. And let's click on this arrow. So now we have the displacement uh, map. So let's click on this checker box. Click on a file. This is the displacement map options. So we don't need to change anything here right now. We just need to click on this arrow so we can pick the file. So let's click on the file. Let's select this image. So, as you can see, this uh, this is a good example of a displacement map I found in the internet. And it's basically you can see the white areas is gonna be, go higher, and the black areas just gonna go lower, and the gray shades gonna be just in between. And to find this kind of map, you can look in the internet for like a height map. You can look height map for mountains or or any kind of height map, or you can create it yourself if you. Uh, if you have specific thing you want to achieve so let's click open okay so everything else here is good uh, and now we need to go to the render settings and change to mental ray and uh, let's go to the settings here I wanna change this to HD 720 the image size uh, we can keep everything here the same we don't need to adjust anything and let's go create the new camera Okay, I want to just change the layout to have the camera here and then the perspective here. So let's let's zoom out, press six to see, and let's click to show that uh, film gate. Okay. So now, of course, we can't see anything. So let's render and see what happens. Okay, so still it's flat although we did apply a displacement map but we still don't see anything and the reason is because this uh, size of this image plane is really of this polyplane is really big is 4000 units so we need to make sure uh, the size of the displacement is matching uh, that so let's go to the displacement and you can see the scale now we have it to one and this is like very small it's not gonna work with the current uh, scale that we have in the polyplane so let's change that let's change it to 100 so 100 times more the displacement is gonna be so let's render okay so you can see we can see a lot more details but this is still not enough let's really increase it a lot more than that so let's make it instead of 100 let's make it 5 times more than that so 500 so let's save and render okay so now it's become pretty uh, good size so let's zoom out more so we can see more let's render okay so now you can see it looks pretty good it's a lot more uh, realistic and you can see all these cool details but right now since we using just a regular displacement uh, map it's not it's like very noisy and very weird so let's fix that and to fix that I did uh, a special tutorial about this mental ray approximation editor so let's do that let's go to rendering editors mental ray approximation editor let's close this window and then make sure you're selecting the ground and then let cr let's click on create the displacement okay so we get the displacement settings here so let's go to custom presets and then click on fine view low quality 
make sure you uncheck view dependent because this view dependent will basically uh, make the displacement based on the pixel on screen and not in the Maya UNES and that's gonna be cause weird flickering and very weird behavior when the camera is moving so this works for still images but it's not gonna really work for our case so let's uncheck this one uh, let's close this window and uh, let's keep the settings as it is and let's render and see what results we get so now we get extremely smooth results it feels like we lost all the details but that's okay because we have the length uh, we need to adjust the length now the lower the length the more higher detail you're gonna get from the displacement now it's pretty high 0 0.5 so let's go for 0 0.05 now we're gonna get a lot more detail from the displacement you can see now we, we start to get more detail so let's go even lower than that let's go for zero zero five okay so you can see now if I save this image and let's delete this one and then compare and then you can see how noisy this one the original displacement and how clean this one because we use my uh, uh, mental ray approx approximation editor so that's that's extremely important because if you try to render and animate this one it's gonna be very flickery and very unstable but when you render this one it's gonna be like smooth and it's gonna look natural and when you texture it's gonna look really cool okay but we can uh, even get more detail than this by increasing the max divisions from 5 let's increase it to 6 and uh, let's save and render okay so you can see we start to get more details okay so let's see let's say we are happy with this result and we like it but the problem now we have is we can't see it in the viewport so we don't know how to animate the camera so to fix that uh, there is a really cool way you can do from uh, in Maya you can convert the displacement map to polygon so you can see it in your viewport so let's go to modify convert displacement to polygons and click on it it did convert it to polygons but let's go to the outliner and you can see here P plane 1 displacement so this is already have displacement map on it as you can see okay, all these mountains it's all disappeared they actually there but they are very very uh, low okay so to fix that we can basically scale it up and to scale it up we basically need to just select the Y and start raising the Y just give it some time keep doing that and then you're gonna notice that the mountains start to go up now this is not like very accurate but it's gonna be enough to give you an indication of what's going on probably I did scale it too much okay so it's too much so let's scale it down I'm kinda now gonna uh, visualize it and just uh, render comparisons uh, and line it up this way it's kinda like we delete this one okay so let's raise it up a little bit more and then render I'm just trying to quickly line it up so this is looks a little bit better let's try to raise it up a little bit more okay so now you can see the top of the mountain is uh, reaching the same as this uh, the displacement map so this is good enough now what we can do uh, we can add a new layer this uh, mountain a new layer and this mountain we don't need to render it this is just for uh, viewing so we know where to place the camera so let's select the camera and then let's zoom so if we do like that and then let's hide this mountain and then render and let's see if it's the same result okay so it's, it's very very close so that's good so now we know like uh, things are uh, relatively accurate so let's do some animation let's go like 150 and then uh, while we're selecting the camera let's press S 
so it have uh, keyed all the channels I usually like to have uh, auto key on this uh, small key uh, so it's like automatically insert keyframes when I move the camera you want to be careful uh, if you're not used to it so you don't have uh, accidentally keys all over the place plus like rotate like Lord of the Rings type movement okay and then let's go to that uh, graph editor and select all these keys and just I want to make them uh, linear so there's no slow in no slow out it's just like constant movement okay so now you can see you could have some horses running down and uh, army behind this mountain so we can do like some really cool stuff if you like you could keep this geo and if you, you just want to make it look better you can basically go mesh and smooth it and you can like enhance it more now it's really the Maya just give you like uh, not the best geo but it will work uh, especially if you have like uh, distance scenes and you have like a uh, huge mountains and big scenery it will work it will do a pretty good job to have like a uh, really cool stuff even from this this distance uh, still could work pretty good because this is like a very big mountain okay so you can see guys now this is a really cool method you can use to uh, like create a new scenery and create a whole new worlds or planets or whatever you want to do and have a really cool stuff going on so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please like share and subscribe and leave a comment let me know what you think and uh, see you in the next video cheers